I am embarrassed for myself embarrassed. that I didn't have this. So good. It's unbelievable. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special edition of Amazon's most wished for, which is baby edition. Because, I don't know if you know this, but two of my sisters-in-law are pregnant, and both of them are due within a month of each other. And so I have them here today because we, honestly, we had so many of these most wished for gadgets already. So I figured it was probably a good one to do because then we could sit down and talk about them actually having purchased and used them for a while now. Although there are some that I just bought because, you know, we need we needed some more to test. And of course, what I had to do is make it fun and I have dry erase ports so we can share our opinion on each of the different products. Because every mom's a little bit different, you know? So I have with me, we have low and I have B. Oh, this will be good. Again, now everyone can, un so we just had dibs on. Now we have the other two and then there's just my sister. She has red hair. We can tell her apart. <laughs> no, my favorite though was when you had dibs on and it was on Rachel Love's life. You were supposed to like vote for like, did you want team dibs or team Rachel? And a couple people said team low out of nowhere. And I was like <laughs> so happy people thought I was dibs. We have a whole range of ages because yeah. your daughter is turning two, your daughter is turning two, yeah. and mine is turning 10. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Set it up at seven and a half and three and a half. Yeah, so. you should have said earmuffs. All you got to do is say earmuffs to him. Earmuffs. No one wants to hear Julie is going to be 10. I know. It's despicable. I'm so angry. How dare she? <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> exactly. So I figured we could categorize them into the different types of baby products because obviously there's a lot of different like categories and things. And we'll link everything down below so if there's things that you are interested in, you can go and check them out. Where should we start? What category of baby things? Sleep? I was going to say sleep is kind of like the... Numero uno. Numero uno. It's what yeah. you worry about. You're like, are you gonna do it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with a classic. This is the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Dom? D-O-H-M. Dom? Dom? It's a white noise machine. And it's something that we have had. Low, low can be my, my van or white. Right so this, as you can tell, we've had this in the family for mm -hmm. so long. Like coming up on over 10 years. Cause this was mine before it was Julia's. Was that white? Was this all? I was like, <laughs> it's a white noise machine. Yes. No, it's always been beige. It's always been vanilla. Like I know this is an heirloom piece. No, in this so, do we keep it crusty? It was, or it, was a, it was a fair question. I don't like the word crusty. I don't like that you said. So this guy, noise machines. If you don't have a white noise machine, please get one because they're amazing. Actually, only get it if you're prepared to take it with you everywhere you go forever until the end of time. So my kids have it, and you can turn the sides to adjust the pitch of the sound as well as how loud you want it. And it has two different settings here. We have them in the hall. We have them in the room because sleep is very valuable to us. <laughs> as currently all three of our toddlers are napping. So ladies, it's necessary. <laughs> is it a good product? Is it a bad product? Write down on your boards. Okay, like hold on. Is, rating? This like, is, is this a number or is yeah, this? Yeah, this is, ooh, I don't know. What do we rate? Like rate it out of 10? Well, what do you, th I mean, I was for 10. Sarah, I think live in your power. Live in my power. Okay, okay. live in, go ahead. <laughs> okay, out of 10. <laughs> Out of 10, what would you rate it? Ready, set, okay, go. Did we, you say uh, 11? I did. Yes. I really feel strongly about did it. Did you it's, say 75 or is that backwards? No, there's a point. 7.5. 7.5. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, that's very specific. Very analytical. <laughs> Très bien. I don't know wow. if the exante goo is yes. over properly. Please don't judge me. So, uh, low is not really in favor. No, a 7.5. Okay, hold on. Boom. Hold on. <laughs> Should we start by flagging what a 10 means to us and a zero means to us? Because I think this is a good rating. She, it's like she doesn't <laughs> like this. I, I feel like you don't like it. A seven and a half to me is like, this does everything that it's supposed to do. But like, here's where it would lose marks for me. <laughs> I don't think she's serious about I don't this. think she gets <laughs> Why is it a hundred and ten percent for you guys? Okay, okay. go ahead. For go ahead. me, thank you, thank you. Let's just let's let's get serious about this. Down to business. Down to business. First of all, in general, <laughs> recommended, of course, mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. AAP. Another point: the dome itself, love the sound, great sound, not menacing. We don't like a menacing dome. <laughs> we don't like <laughs> ominous white noise. <laughs> like Easy to use, good sound, <laughs> recommended. Just just ten out of ten. Just what is there not to like? Nothing. That's why I have ten out of ten. That's how I. That's do. my rating, at least. So you may. <laughs> I have the thank you, B. You thank you, B. What I really like is that you can adjust not only just the top buttons up and down to how like how loud it is, but you can 
adjust like the depth of sound too, which I kind of like depending on what the noise is like in the room or outside or whatever. I really like that. Again, I really like the sound of it. I've tried other ones. I actually have other ones. I don't like them. This one's like a, like a deep, like a warm sound that like you want to be in the room with you. And that's how I feel about this particular machine. Warm sound, love Warm. It. Listen, I have a dome, a dom, sorry. So oh. sorry. <laughs> I'll put some respect on his name. It's in Gabby's room. We use it daily. It does everything that it's supposed to do. But for me, like a 10 is like, this product is beautiful. It looks good in the room. What are you it saying about my crusty dom? <laughs> Let me just start with, I found building a registry so insanely stressful. I was like having like a legitimate, like it was maybe one of the most, like, I know it's silly, but like one of the most stressful things about my pregnancy last time. And Rachel like built our registry. It's like, <laughs> true, like, I did do that. It was very exciting. You recommended this. I, I love it. I use it every day. But like the other one that we're gonna get to, I feel like has additional features. It looks better in the room. And also where it loses some marks for me is that sometimes you forget to turn it on. And then I'm like, uh. I have a little clicky thing. Oh. Maybe we should get a clicky oh. thing. Oh, I just, just, I well, have part one. Of is you. that, is that? No, not part of this one. You know the little, oh, you know those little sockets things that you can put in the wall? You plug Wi-Fi this switch. in. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then you have like a little clicker yes. to turn it on and off from the door. So you don't have to go over there and like turn it on. With the thing. But you still have to open the Life door. Life hack. Maybe be more stealthy. <laughs> that's, that's true. You I know, I'm gonna respect your rating on now because I understand from your point of view. I'm just gonna go ahead and rescind my uh, anger that I felt towards you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, so Stay let's go on to the next one then. Do you wanna grab the next one that you feel very strongly about? I sure do. Okay, so this is Hatch, which I did not have with any of my pregnancies. And this was a low find, and this is very popular on Amazon's most wished for list. Low can probably explain this a little bit better than I can, because I know it does fun, um, pretty lights and <laughs> it has white noise, which is very good. I did like it when I was using it. Like I, like I think it is a good machine and it does like progress with your baby because it does those extra features. Yeah. I'm getting into it. You should just no, know <laughs> exactly what you said. This has a set to rise feature, everything that you just said, but it also has like a variety of different types of white noise. One of the things that I really loved about it, I'm someone who bright lights really disrupt me is always like really disrupted by sleep cycle. And so, when you're getting up in the middle of the night, have to do a diaper change or feed them or something and you need a little bit of light. I just had this set to the orange light, which disrupts your melatonin production less. You can do a bunch of different colors with it, but I also like that you can have like the presets so you can either just tap it or you can change it if you need to on the bottom. But then it also all runs by app. And I also think it looks nice. This is what I'm saying. This is a Don't seven and a half. crusty. <laughs> How dare you? This is more expensive, but by the time you add in, okay, do you want to get a night light? Do you want to get a grow clock? Do you want to get a white noise machine? Do you like all of these things? It kind of makes sense. Yeah, especially if you're starting from scratch yeah. and you don't have any of these things. I had this yeah. for me already and I already loved it. And I didn't have this, all right? It's just so old. Oh. Rating time. What would you rate the hatch? Are we ready? Ready. Okay, and go. Seven and a half? Oh wait, no, wrong person. 10, seven and a half. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay, we got it. Un petit peu de bien. <laughs> just a little bit good. Because I kept touching it and it turned off. <laughs> Don't, Don't forever. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, I have already explained my time. I understand this is still a very good product and I still would recommend it, but I I have my loyalty. <laughs> my loyalty <laughs> is where my loyalty lies. That's oh, fine, next product. Okay. <laughs> All right, next one. So there's two different pillows. There's the boppy pillow and then there is the one that has the, um, the seat belt. I don't know what it's called. Is that my breast was... friend? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, oh, that's you're the talking one. About, like all nursing pillows. Yeah, like. nursing pillows. This yeah. is like the one that seems to be the most popular. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I got. This is the one that I told you guys about. You should put it on your head like this. Get ready with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, today I'm going to Coachella. So the boppy pillow. I use this for all of my children. I really liked it. I liked that it was easy to maneuver and move around. It was light, it was comfy. I ended up getting new covers with I think Luke, I ended up getting this. I think these ones are, no, 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 it was Luke. No, Maybe it was I went into your Amazon cart to try to okay. repurchase it. Okay. And it was so, <laughs> so I sucked your order. Like I said, <laughs> it's like I copy everything else you guys buy. I'm like, do, 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 no, it'll be in here. What somewhere. else do you have? <laughs> so this cover, really, really nice. There's a bunch of different um, patterns and stuff with it, but like, the most soft of any of the ones that I've tried. Nice and stretchy, so you can put it on and you're not feeling like you're like trying to wrangle it in, which is so annoying. So good. So anyway, I really love it. Let's talk about everyone else's rating of the Boppy. Very popular. 
Okay, no, ready? I... Steady, go. 5.5? Question mark? <laughs> what is happening? In general, to be honest, I didn't really use a nursing pillow. Now, I'll specify or clarify rather, in terms of um, nursing pillows, great. Nothing against the boppy pillow, but I would just say in general, the nursing pillows, no, not, not pour moi. Not pour moi. <laughs> the reason I gave it an eight is because I really liked it for my first and you know, you always go into this with like, you need a nursing pillow and you know, all these things. And like, I still used it for all my kids cause it was just easier than find it, but a pillow, but like you, it's like, do you need a nursing pillow? No, you do not need one in my personal opinion. When you're trying to like <laughs> protect your back, <laughs> for, forever broken. But like, it's just nice to feel like supported. Cause like your arms gonna give out after a while, if you're really weak like me. So uh, I <laughs> like <me>. that. <laughs> so I like that for that reason, um, but you don't, I don't think you need a nursing pillow. Overall as a general rule, but if you were going to get one, I really like this one. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. My daughter had really bad reflux. And so when you put it around you, like it's pretty much flat, right? And so my daughter had to be like nursed at like an angle like oh, this. Okay. What I will say though, actually for reflux babies is that I use this for her for tummy time quite a bit after because she had to be held upright for 30 minutes. Otherwise it was, <laughs> you remember. Next, I guess let's go into feeding related things. Let's start with the one we'll go youngest, which is the um, Philips bottle warmer. So this is just, it's as it says, it's going to warm up the bottle for your baby to the correct temperature. So ratings. Three, two, one, go. 10, oh, four, wow. four, question mark. They hated doty, nope, bottles. <laughs> they used to be all cussed. All three of them hated bottles, eh? Yeah, none of them liked it. I remember one of them just like full on rioted for an entire afternoon that I wasn't there. Luke's and just hunger refused. strike. Do you remember the hunger strike? Yeah. The whole, the whole <laughs> afternoon, he was just like, absolutely not. <laughs> you will not give me this garbage. So um, I have no experience with that. Other than the couple of times I've, I've heated them up for, for gabs. So yeah. like oh, yeah. my small amount of So as a babysitter, how would you, cause that's who I bought it for. That purpose, it was really good because you just set it to what it needed to be. And you said, turn it on at this point. I turned it on and then it was done. I didn't have to worry about like, is this too hot or too cold for them? Cause like, I know for my own babies, but like when it's your niece, like it's just like, I don't want, I don't want to be bad. <laughs> as a babysitter, that was like a really easy thing that just took one thing off my plate of like, I'm not gonna burn. Yeah, <laughs> my niece. Basically at the top, there's just ounces. You just literally turn it to how many ounces it is and you press the button and that's it. And then when the light is done flashing, like it's done. And I feel like, especially maybe for like grandparents or people who haven't had a baby or who haven't had a baby in a long time, being like, here it is, press the button, like turn it down. It's so intuitive, it's fast, it's easy. Especially if you were bottle feeding your kid all the time. I couldn't imagine, like I know there's like the baby bras and stuff like that, like the premium formula sure, options, but if you're on more of a budget, but what a bottle warmer, I think this has everything it's supposed to. You have a strong, like strong a strong nest I should, <laughs> I should explain myself. I think, again, this may be user error, but I found it took long to, uh, to heat up. And if you have a, an angry infant on your hands, like that's just, it's game over. But for argument's sake, what's the faster way of doing it? Like, well, that's just it, is I don't have anything else to compare it to. I don't think you can boil water faster than this works. Yeah. I, maybe Olivia was just real mad at you. Maybe she just <laughs> needed it when she needed it. She's I don't know. I, I do remember though, so for my rating, I do remember having to press the button and do the cycle again and be, being kind of perplexed as to why it wasn't, warm enough when I had completed the whole cycle. Mm. But anyway. Your okay, rating is valid, sir. Well, yeah. thank you, I we're feel gonna, validated. We're gonna validate your rating. Yeah. Okay, so these are the most wished for bibs and we have been trying them on yeah. our smalls during the lunch rush. They, um, <laughs> the Vanga Boys. <laughs> we call it the Vanga Boys. We say it's the lunch rush when they all have Because <laughs> they all come up in a line. So uh -huh. this is the bib. This is how it works. It's got the little piece in the front and it's got the part in the back with these buttons. And the buttons go around like this, ta-da! And it sits open like that. So, it's very nice color on you. Jewelry very LinkedIn, coming, to be honest. LinkedIn bio. <laughs> okay, what are your what are your thoughts on the, on the bibs? Mm. Ready, steady, go. 
Six, nine, seven. All right. Okay. I'm you know what? Survival. Actually, sorry, I thought of one thing. I'm changing to an eight. All right, then you want to explain first? Okay, my thing with floppy bibs usually is that they don't, this section doesn't jut out enough. So usually the food will just fall flat. But I was actually very pleasantly surprised by how these ones gape. And it's soft. And my daughter, she's sitting in a high chair. She gets angry if like, so we also have the baby Bjorn ones, which I like a lot. But sometimes those are hard. It, like if she has something with like a spoon and we have like pushed it closer, she it. gets stuck and she gets angry. Mustack. <laughs> My daughter loves to say, she says ma instead of I. Mustack. Mustack. <laughs> and so these are easier to get mustuck with. <laughs> these less mustucky. It lost two points because they, um, these ones are better than the dishwasher. Maybe that's even three because dishwasher grabs a. Depends how many kids you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true. But I like them. I'm actually, I was, when I saw these, didn't think they were that good, pleasantly surprised. My rating is, um, uh, I don't know if you would say irrelevant to the party, <laughs> but I will explain it. So I have watched, um, obviously, my nieces and nephews uh, who use this bib at lunchtime. My daughter, Olivia, has used it as well. I actually have the long- I was just gonna say, <laughs> I know what you're gonna think. We just store things at Chris and Rachel's house for they, the kids so that it's just- Exhibit A, ta-da. Thank you. The artist's mock. <laughs> yes. So I don't know about your children, <laughs> but my child is a messy eater. <laughs> so I appreciate these. I know we're not really delving into this, but because it, you know, will save uh, the clothes from staining. Because she's so used to these, she will take these off herself. So that's my frustration with it. But as someone who's maybe used these kinds of bibs from the get-go, I have no problems with this. I'm shocked by your six. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me explain. Go on. Let me go explain on. my six. So number one is I tend to because family of five, I tend to not dishwash these because they take up a lot of space, mm -hmm. and I don't have I don't have the space for that. So I have to hand wash them, and I find that these being so flexible makes it really hard to clean. They're not as clean friendly to me. The other thing is is that I find these to be easier to put on them versus the buttons. I don't like the buttons in the back. They're a little bit more finicky to get on. I can see that. And like, I don't know, they get caught in, in hair, hair and it's I just know. like, yeah, it's just like not as easy. And I just really like, these are the ones that I've used for all of them. Um, and they are more expensive, but like, oh, do these hold up? However, I agree with you on the point that this part here, yeah. unbelievable, yeah. so good. So if you don't want your boy to get mistuck or they don't <laughs> like, to have any of the um, the rigidity of this one. This is like yeah. the best alternative that I've found because all the rest of them, it's like this. And yeah. it's like, what is that even doing? What's the next thing now? Do you want to do the bowl? Ooh, the bowl. Okay, okay. This is the munchkin bowl. I'm mm -hmm. sure everyone has seen this. This is like the standard classic yeah. thing that you add to your wish list. And it basically the whole premise is you mistuck it. <laughs> you want to mistuck it. <laughs> to the, Purposefully the mistuck it. <laughs> <laughs> with purpose of intent and you can grab at it and go like this and oh my goodness look at that it doesn't come off. It seems like an infomercial. I, I like know. it. I know. Thanks. <laughs> but now everyone can rate it. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh! Negative seven, one. Nine yeah. and a half. Six? Oh, Explain I yourselves. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Negative one. I'm Negative one. Strongly. I'm feeling very strongly about these. Okay, so first of all, no child is ever like, oh wow, I can't get it off now. They all just lift it from underneath because they're infants. Second point, they don't stack. I have a whole thing with it. I find the plates to be a lot better of an option because they're flatter and they just, they have more suction width around. And to be honest, I just stick my kid with like a, rag a ragglier bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's because you like to live on the edge. I like to live on the edge yeah. and really, you know, test the limits. Test the limits. Yeah. yeah. So that's my rationale behind it. I just don't, I don't like them. No, you gotta go one extreme to the next. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now I feel a little goofy because I agree with something you, you've said. I also prefer plates because they can access things easier. They have the dividers and that. I like them as far as bowls go because they hold stuff. <laughs> Here's what bowls. I like about they bowls. hold stuff. I don't know, I've looked at other bowls on the interwebs <laughs> and um, I think they're cute and they work. Dishwasher safe, I don't know, I could go on. They're great for bowls. Yeah. Do I prefer a place? Yes, I do. All right, okay, okay. all right. 
middle of the road. Are they gonna unstick it? Absolutely. But does it deter them? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, which is why it gets a six for me. I don't All really right. have anything else to add to it. That's honestly fair. Understood. That's yeah. really reasonable. Oh, except for the one thing I'll say about your stacking. Yeah, yeah. that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> You don't, you don't think they, they you they'll think, see I made a face. I was like, what, what are you talking about? Like, do you not? No, I didn't. You stack them. Did I do it wrong? Well, no, no, no. What I was going to say is that at least the set that I bought, which is, I think, from the Amazon most wish for list came in different sizes. Oh. So there's there's the blue one is the biggest, I believe, and then the green, and then the I was purple. thinking if you got a whole bunch in the same size, they're not gonna stack well. Oh, I they, see what you're they saying. They don't, maybe no? you can, so maybe you can buy them individually, but they sell them how I bought them anyways, is as a set. So they stack five. Uh, okay, man, I got the old ones then, that's what I got. I got the old back, ones. Back, back in the day. <laughs> okay. Next category. Let's do uh, bath time next. This is the, what is it? I keep getting the You can do. You can do. So it's like you a can little, do it. <laughs> you can do it. So this is a little bath thing that you basically put into the bathtub and then it has like a little thing. You've probably seen these and you push the buttons. Can you hear that? So that is where it would be spraying out water from the tub out the hose. Yay. I also have a controversial but brave opinion. I don't think we should rate this one because Sarah and I haven't used it. I think you should I, have no, I was going to say, oh, I was going to okay. say that I don't I think you just need know. to, to impart I need to wisdom. Share it. Okay. Yeah. So I really <laughs> like this and I didn't think I was going to like it because I thought this was kind of gimmicky. However, what I like about it is, okay, you can put it in the tub and you push the buttons and then it does like a, a nice amount of water, I would say, that comes out of it. It's not like a jet stream, but it's not like dribbles. That seems really nice, especially, you know how some kids like, they don't like getting the cups poured on them. I yeah. feel like this would be a really so nice. gentle. Yeah. It's just so a sensorial gentle. experience. Yeah. It's spa bath time. You were just born. You deserve it. Exactly. <laughs> However, what I was not prepared for when I was testing it with Connor is how much it actually grows with you. Cause I thought I was like, this is just a newborn thing. It's super gimmicky. Like yeah. I can see its value. What he showed me is that he really likes it to use for himself. So it's oh. great for pushing the buttons. So using those like pincers and like building those muscles. He likes being able to do it himself. Cause he's very like independent yeah. boy. He wants to do it himself. <laughs> Guys, to stick it in the water. He likes to see what happens when you lift the elephant out of the water, which means it doesn't spray anymore, but like, you know, testing those Curiosity, different things. Yep. Yeah, and he'll wash his like different, you know, bath toys and yeah. stuff. And like, he just really likes it. It's long enough that like I can spray him down. Now he does have like a mop of hair. <laughs> so like, it doesn't work as well if they have a lot of hair versus like a newborn level of hair. But yeah, like, that I I think this is a great tool. I would give it a 10 yeah. myself personally. A 10 on Rachel baby items is a beautiful thing. I really like it. Okay, but there are more. One is in the, the room where Gabby is currently napping. So we're not gonna touch that one, but I will put a picture of it over my face. It's a, a whale cup that you use to like pour over mm -hmm. your child. Did you use this one? I, I have one. Yeah. Do you use this one? Okay, so then we can yeah. rate it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> excellent. I saw yours by accident. We have very different opinions on it. Me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You ready? You guys gonna fight? Oh, I'm, I'm still thinking. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Rut row. What happened? Oh, what? Just, I'll tell you about it. I bet Sarah oh. comes in the middle. Ready, set, go. Oh, okay. not, do you put a plus? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's not wow. a 10. It's wow. not a 10. It's not a nine and a half, but it's a nine Astounding. plus. Astounding. Astounding. Okay, well, okay, so. No, no, no. Me first? No, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm listening. So the reason I don't like it is because my boys don't like, my <laughs> my boys specifically don't like when you pour the water on their heads and it goes in their eyes. So pouring this over, I find that it doesn't do the job it's intended to do, where it stays flat against their head, it pours backwards and then nothing goes in their eyes. I think that's a lie <laughs> and it doesn't happen like that, <laughs> especially because as soon as you put something on their head, their immediate reaction, or at least my children, is to tip forward. <laughs> Cause they're like, get this thing <laughs> off. And then the water <laughs> pours all over. It's just like an awful experience for everyone. Does it do the job of like, you know, you can scoop water and pour it over them and like, for sure. For is it sure a cup? It does. Yes. Is it a cup? <laughs> Thumbs up. Absolutely a cup. More on bulls after oh, this though. <laughs> so that's where I stand on it. Did I use it for every single one of my children? Yes, I did. I'm just gonna, if I may, go right after Shell because it's basically the same opinion despite my higher rating. I think in terms of a, a cup, it is a cup. <laughs> it is absolutely a cup. For, For sure, sure a cup. Sure a cup. <laughs> it does have a wider, um, opening so i like it for you know maybe in between a little bit um getting them warm and mm -hmm. stuff i tend to use you know those little ikea cups 
Um, it's just little plastic cups and I just, you know, do that for her hair so I don't even really use it for its purpose. I think in general, not really needed. You could use home items as, you know, you've said, so that's just my rating. Great for a cup, wide brim. Here's the elephant. Oh, you used elephant, which I'm now Yeah, that's true. By. Gabby loves hers. We have other bath toys for her, but all she wants to play is scoop and dump with the elephant. Oh, she amazing. just loves it. We use it all the time. Anyways, can confirm it's a cup, but she <laughs> likes it as a toy too. Okay, what else do we have? Super scoop. So this is a basket for, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't use this. So you may have to enter the, did you use I this? I did not. This so is this you. is on you. Okay, this let me do a speed you. round. Basically it's intended purpose is to hold toys and then you you can clean them all up really easily in the bath, like if you've got a bunch of little toys. The idea being that there's no mold growing in it, there's little holes in it, so everything will drip, and then it'll hang up on the side of your bathtub, and then you just press it in to seal it, you get it. Me personally, as a person, I would only rate this like a four, maybe a three. I don't think you need this. And the reason that I don't think you need this is twofold. One, it always falls off the wall. And I thought I would like use this more. Like I think I thought that like, oh, make bedtime bath, clean up easier. I've not once ever used that as a feature. It's like, like a pool wide. skimmer. Yeah, like it's yeah. <laughs> it's just like a pool skimmer. Unless it's like a pool, it you don't need yeah. this. It's very wide. If so maybe it's like for like a like a big bathtub, but even then I would just, I don't know how many how many toys you're well, putting in with your kids. Thing, I don't like, know. Maybe I'm just a bad mom. <laughs> There's gotta be a cheaper one. So, like, to There's gotta be a different bath. way. There must <laughs> be a new way. Don't fall for it like I did. Save your money. Okay, so there's safety nail trimmers. So these are things that's like a buzz saw that basically <laughs> spins around and just <laughs> down on their nails. Now, I meant to test this in advance and give you my honest thoughts. I didn't. I'll be really frank with you. However, it's now downstairs with Chris and Connor. So I need to get some results on that one. Whilst I get that, do I have the munchkin change pad or is that just you? You have a similar breed. Would you like me to yeah. grab that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. are they comparing this to like the... Um, well, this to everything in the category. Everything okay. in the category. Okay, so I've only used this. So I don't know what to... <laughs> to oh, oh, she has such... I know. <laughs> no, 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 I'm with totally. you. I'm with you. I'm with you too. So sorry that oh. we don't have the telepathy going right now. Not Right this yeah. minute. Not the minute. Changing my mind. <laughs> I wrote this dumper big because I feel strongly about it. You know how sometimes you're not sure about the rating? Yeah. I feel sure about this rating. Okay. Me too. Ready? Steady? Go. Negative 10. Oh, shut up. The dinosaur. Shut up. I don't know any other way. I know. It's actually I really know. good. Oh, They're nice. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I didn't know you could draw like that. <laughs> His neck needed to be a little bit longer, but. Oh, there we go. Now it looks a little bit more dino-y. So I'm a dinosaur and this is the only one I know. I can talk about what I like and don't like about it. Yeah. One thing I do like is that um, it's a change pad. And <laughs> better it's than, a cup. it's good for changing. <laughs> However, um, it has these, these things that you have to take on and off and that's a whole thing. And sometimes, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just take it off and leave it and they could just be cold for a half a second <laughs> because I don't wanna have to deal with, okay, there's a little bit of stuff on here. I'm gonna have to take off this thing and go wash it and put a new one on for it to just get dirty the next time I change them. However, it is very wipeable, very easy to clean. Like this part, it's cushy. That's all I have on it, so. I don't know. Do you have more? Please. Oh, good I already know what she's no. going to say. This is a change pad for sure. For sure is. It's just six. It does what it says it's gonna do. It is a great budget option. There is nothing wrong with this at all. It actually, if you flip it over, it has the anti-slip. <gasps> Mine doesn't have that. <laughs> On the back of it, the buckle to secure. I used this for the first six months with Gabby. It works, however. <laughs> and this is gonna be my big soapbox stand for the video. If there is, a new is way. <laughs> if there is Uno luxury baby item that- One? And, oh, Brennan and I have talked about this. I feel emphatically about this. If there is one luxury baby item, it would be a wipe clean change pad. I have the Kikuru. That's the Kikuru. really fancy. <laughs> the Kikuru is so- Any accents, you literally just wipe it up. Like, is it, is it chilly? Like, no, the foam, no, it's not cold. The amount of times, you know, the middle of the night, your kid has an accident, whatever, and you're taking it off and you're probably throwing it in your bathtub and you're like, I'll deal with it in the morning. And then you're stain treating it. Like, I just cannot <laughs> enough. If you are getting one luxury baby item, make it the Kikuru or a similar wipe clean. I think there's a couple of them. It'll cut down on your laundry. On your laundry and your sanity. <laughs> no, no, I will increase. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why you gave it a negative 10. That's why I gave it a negative 10 because again, I also started off with a very similar uh, version to this. Nothing wrong with them at all, but for my sanity, 
I did also upgrade to the Kikuru, and obviously the the cost is 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 quite. We both got them as gifts. We, we should did. say that because they are expensive. Yeah, I and it seems ridiculous, but it is funny because it actually does save yeah. you so much in laundry, in your sanity. And I don't know about you guys, but my kids poop. I don't, don't know what you heard, but it happens. You know, it's uh, not ideal to have it uh, get stained. Cause even this, I'm, like this can get stained if you get, yeah, if you it does, work hard yeah. enough. <laughs> Obviously great, great change pad, nothing yeah. wrong with it. It is actually comfy, but yeah, even the Kikuru, um, despite it not having the covers, yeah. uh, very warm, cushioned actually, cushioned, nicely yeah, cushioned to the, uh, the oh. bebe. This will work though. Yep. Hundred percent, it, it will work. Yeah, we'll get you where you need to go. Yeah. Okay. So now it de it's down to like the diaper pails. We're gonna cut down to like the nitty gritty. What? Which one's your favorite? Oh me. Yeah. <laughs> Diaper, you yeah. have the floor. I, I have only tried the diaper genie. I like it. I have the ubi, and I have tried um, just as a as a caretaker of of my nieces and nephews the diaper. Genie, it's fine. I like the Ubi more. I find it holds the smell better. That's me. That's just okay. me. Also non-proprietary bags, I'm right? sorry, I was just getting to that. That's actually the reason I bought it in the first place was because it doesn't have the proprietary bags that you have to purchase with it. That is a big thing, because they are expensive. Those like little like three pack. They are, but you want to know what stopped me from getting the Ubi? You have to use your hands and the, the diaper genie, if your hands are dirty, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a foot pedestal. That's worth something. That's a nicer looking diaper pail. It's really pretty. I'm going to be honest. It's very nice looking, but you have to open yeah. it this way. Yeah. That's not my favorite. Give everyone your diaper genie trick though for when it's almost full, because that makes a difference. When you shake it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this is that mom of the <laughs> wisdom. So sometimes the only thing with the diaper genie is that if you stuff them down, they can get stuck at the top. <laughs> must stuck. Must stuck, at, must the stuck at the top. And then when you try and put more in, you're like, oh no. You just have to like give it a shake, you know? Like old yeah. school technology, yeah. you know? You just gotta like hit it a couple times. <laughs> Take this Super Nintendo cartridge out. <laughs> blow it. <laughs> blow on it. And also, Fun fact, but you know the little, um, the little- Charcoal? Yeah. Or whatever it is. The charcoal things. They sell little charcoal things that slide into the lid. For the smell? Weirdly enough, they work surprisingly well. I also have like just little ones that you can get off Amazon. Yeah. They're like little packs. For me, yeah. I've, I think that those make a big difference, but um, yeah, I prefer the pedestal thing. Both, both do work. Yeah, it's much prettier than mine though. For sure. That's so, so much prettier to put Excrement in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got here? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. What? This. Yeah, okay, so let's go on to our favorite thing. This is something that we are <laughs> so angry that we didn't know about this before. <laughs> and we're so. <laughs> if you take your child out at all in a stroller, this. Like. I am embarrassed for myself embarrassed. that I didn't have this. So basically, this is a caddy that goes over top and it, it straps around the handles and then it has all these like cup holders in here, little zip things, different bags and stuff for whatever stuff you need to carry for your kid. And it's just, it's awesome. Just the, the fact that it has the cup holders deep. and they're deep, yes, deep cup holders. I was sticking everything underneath yep. the stroller, Makes like a chump. <laughs> just like, <laughs> gonna get rattled around. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But this is like, it's just so much better. This is the mom cozy one. It wipes clean very yep. easily. Again, with all the different zippered pockets, you can take this one off if you yep. wanted to put like, your wallet or something, and you need to sneak into the store, whatever. It's incredible. Like, Insulated too. And there's one in the middle for snacks or, well, whatever, but. Definitely snacks. snacks. <laughs> Add it to your list, I'm yeah. telling you. We don't even need to rate this one. This one's a 14 out of 10. 100%. And it's yeah. everything you just said. The only thing that it wouldn't work for is if you have an umbrella stroller. Yes. Oh, that's because true. it's gotta go over. Well, I think we actually have footage, right, of what it looks like on so they can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, it wraps yeah. around, mm -hmm. but it's so good. It's unbelievable. The, the best in the biz. It's the best in it's the biz. It's so good. What else is really good here? Oh, you like this board. Those were just on the most most wished for, but like, I just think that everyone with a newborn, it's just a, it's a good toy. So black and white is really good for newborns. They're attracted to the stark contrast. contrast. Yeah. So it just, it makes it easier. You can flip it around. So if they get bored with one, which they will very quickly, you just flip it around and you just go on to the next one. And then, oh, look at that, it's them. And they just, they get excited about seeing an image of themselves. And then you move it around. Teething toys on it. It's got everything. You don't need a lot of toys. No, you don't. For a newborn, like everyone's like, oh, get this. It's really good for the develop. Like get this. 
one and done. Got lots of different shapes, sizes, colors, everything on the back. Like it's, yeah. Oh, here's Christopher. He might have insight into the electric trimmer. <gasps> Do you have insight into the electric trimmer? Connor likes playing with it. Okay. Did you use it on his nails? I tried. Maybe I'm just not good at it, but I was not wildly successful. Is it like a buzz saw? Like, <laughs> it didn't it? do a lot of trimming. It was like buffing and it's like- a, it's, a, it's like a nail file, basically. It files off fast. like yeah. sharp edges fine, but it didn't trim. So then can someone please let us know what the, like, because that's something that I heard from a couple moms of like a couple, like they each have a couple kids. Like if there's one thing you do, it's get an electric nail file. And I would like to try that with the next one because it's so stressful cutting baby's nails. It is. But I would like to know like which ones are good ones. Yeah. Someone said they're, they're so little. Things. Yeah, exactly. They're so small, yeah. Yeah. Little, little, little phalanges. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> now I want you guys to try something that I bought specifically because it was an issue for me. You know where I'm going with this. I found this <laughs> and I was like, I need them to try it because this is one thing for me. I always wanted to sleep on my stomach. Ah, uh, yeah. I enjoy sleeping on my stomach so much. That was the first thing I did as soon as I was no longer pregnant, just right down. <laughs> I was just like, I was so happy. I can lie on my stomach again. Maybe not everyone feels as passionately. I'm the same as you. Okay. I'm the exact same okay. as you. Yeah. So I bought a thing and it's like a floaty, but like it doesn't, you don't need to float necessarily. <laughs> you could just lounge. It has a hole in it for your bump, which like, I mean, I could lie on it, but it's not gonna be the same as seeing live footage <laughs> of a pregnant woman. What are you saying to us? <laughs> we need to test this out. We need to give this a go and see <laughs> what it's like with a pregnant belly because I feel like this would have been the best thing ever for me. So. Let's do it. Look at this guy. Huh. I'm going for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you lie down? And is it comfortable? Um. <laughs> you look really comfortable. Um. <laughs> like, no? <laughs> okay, I have thoughts, but Sarah, you try first. Right. How did you, did you like, yeah, how did you? <laughs> I don't know if you had your arms stretched out, but this is how we do it. This actually feels really good. I feel like I'm on a massage table, but instead where my face should be is my belly is. I uh, don't know what practical application I would have for this. This would be something that if you had at your house, I'd be like, oh yeah, there's that thing. It's, <laughs> it's for a pool, babe. Oh. <laughs> okay, for a pool? Yeah. Like if you lived in Florida or somewhere where it was hot year round yeah. and you had a pool, for sure. Yeah. But like when we get to go in a pool like yes. for two months of the year. It was comfy. Absolutely, it was comfy. You liked that, eh? I liked that, yeah. Not a fan? It was just too rigid for me. Maybe I was lying in it wrong? I think you were. Do you? Yeah. Okay, all right. I think you need to stretch your arms up. <laughs> you just want to see me roll off again. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like this would be hard for tall people. Does that feel like a good stretch? No. <laughs> Like I don't hate it. Oh, okay, but here's man. the thing. If I were some if I were a floaty human, I would cherish the opportunity to be able float. to floaty. Yeah. But I just rather sit up in like a like a canopy floaty or something. That's how I'm I feel sure. about it. You just want to watch me roll off again. Yeah, right? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnant woman down. Ooh, we have one more though. This thing. I'm not fitting in that. <laughs> I can't. Be brave. You can do it. This is something that your children had. My children had like a version of it. Yeah. So do you have a thought on this? Like, would you recommend this to people? Yes, I know containers writ large are controversial. What this doesn't have on it right now, I should note, is it doesn't have the stand. So my understanding from like a like a physio perspective, and I'm certainly not a uh, expert, is that it's better if they have a little board so that their feet aren't dangling. So that's one of the reasons I chose it. But uh, in terms of the toys, like Gabby was entertained by it and she'll still use it now. What I do like about this one is the piece that where their feet sit on can be taken, like this can be taken out. And then what I'm actually gonna do probably now is use it as a table and then she can just color on it. So it kind of grows with them, which is nice. Oh, cool. Um, and so she has a little standing thing. So she used it for a couple different stages. So I like it. If you're looking for an extra, are they called extra saucers? I think so. I think yeah, so. if you're looking for something like this, I think this is a good one. The toys are good, have good applications. You can take them off. You can take them off, you yeah. And it's like, easy. I as liked a, it. Yeah, as a, as a visitor, I don't own one of these, but um, Olivia liked these a lot. Um, and yeah, it, to your point, like, the girls will to this day still take off, you know, this little yeah. piano piece. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Can't wait to meet my niece and my nephew very soon. Bring me the babies, yeah. please. <laughs>
Please and thank you, <laughs> and much appreciate for the wisdom. That's oh, thank you. You're the like you're the ultimate expert. So let me know in the comments which of these products you've either tried before or you like, didn't like. We'll just make like a big long list of everyone who's had experience with it, or ask questions. If you have any questions, like we'll all just help each other out in the comments. And I will link everything as well down below so you can go and check them out. They're all on Amazon. I hope you love them as much as we have, or in some cases didn't end up buying hopefully because they just, at least for us, they didn't work. Make sure you check out these other most wished for videos that we have done. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.